The figure below is made up of a big square, a small square, and a circle. The ratio of the area of the big square to the area of the circle is 14 to 11. So let's record down the ratio first. So big square is this whole big square to the circle inside this circle. 14 is to 11. Now notice that the question did not provide us with much information. Okay? They in fact just give us this ratio and they expect us to straight away work out the fraction of the figure that was shaded. Now with such little information, what then you can try to do next is to study back the diagram that is provided here. See whether you can gather any other important information that you should analyze from the diagram. All right, so we have all here, this is the center of the circle. And the circle is touching the sides of the square. So notice that actually this shape is a quadrant, this shaded part over here. All right, and this shaded part will be helpful because I will need to find out how many units is this shaded part later on. So since we realize that this is a quadrant, a quadrant with respect to the whole circle is a quarter of a whole circle. So with this information, we can now go on to create one more ratio, quadrant to the whole circle. And quadrant to whole circle will be 1 is to 4. Now with this ratio created, notice that you can now work out a common base between both of this ratio. I hope you can tell that the common base will be C, C, the circle. So 11 U and 4 U make them into 44 units. Underline your common base. Once common base is done, you might want to look back at the diagram and observe that now I can find all these shaded parts with this, with this white color portion, because these are what we call boomerangs. All right, so we covered this in our circles chapter. All these shapes at the corners are called boomerang. We notice that in this diagram, there are four boomerangs. One, two, three, four, irregardless of whether they are shaded or not. So notice to find the units for the boomerangs, I can use the whole big square, subtract away the big circle to get the sum of the four boomerangs. Now, if you're wondering why am I working towards boomerang, it's because our shaded part consists of three boomerangs. So I would think it's important to work out the units that belongs to the boomerangs. Okay, so let's work out the units for the four boomerangs. So four boomerangs, simply the whole big square taking away this circle. So we already have the units here, big square minus circle, which will be 12 units. Hence, we can work out the value of one boomerang now. So each boomerang is worth three units. So I'm just going to record it back into my shaded boomerangs. This is three units, three, three. Shaded part, okay, we are getting closer to our goal. I'm left with the quadrant, which is shaded. So quadrant, just look at the ratio. Quadrant is 11 units. Okay, so do your annotations into your diagram. All right, so we shall work out the total shaded units now. So I have 3 times 3 plus another 11. Now look at, look at the question. They ask what fraction of the figure was shaded. So basically, we want the shaded over the whole figure. That will be our fraction. So what is the whole figure? So whole figure would actually just be your big square. Whatever shapes exist inside the big square are already part of the inner area inside the big square. All right, so essentially your whole area is just the big square, which is 56 units. So shaded over big square, simplify, you get 5 over 14. 